friends and welcome to another video segment from National Food and Beverage Training. This one is by request. I do welcome requests. So this one, shout out to you Mr. Davis, thank you for requesting it. It is on hand washing in case you're tuning in for the first time. My name is Gerson Pooch. You can reach me here 954-300-7937. Leave a message, text or go to the uh, Google site reach me through there, I'll get a notification as well. I do offer national training, so anywhere in the continental US, let me know, I will be there for you. I am fully bilingual, español y inglés, así que puedo ayudarles en su entrenamiento de, para, su, para su restaurante, for your restaurant training, food and beverage training, as well as soft skills, uh, customer service skills. So let me know. So anyway, listen, let's just get on with the show right now. Hand washing again, Mr. Davis, appreciate you. If you have a request for a video, do let me know. So here we go. Now, one thing I do want to stress, as with any other test, uh, certification test, you want to make sure you get the information the first time because questions show up multiple times. So if you didn't know it the first time and that question happens to be there five or ten times, that means you're going to get it wrong five to ten times. All right, so here we go. One thing that I enjoy doing to help you memorize the, uh, the content is I use mnemonics. So let's get started. Um, when you're thinking about the temperature for hand washing, it's an easy way to remember it. What I stress to my learners is what is the absolute best score that you can get on an exam? Assuming it's not curved, what is the best score you can get? No extra credit points as is. The best score you can get is what? And I'm going to use, I'm going to try to use corresponding colors, but um, the best score you can get on an exam is 100. So that is also the temperature setting for water. Okay, now it's a little tricky, so pay, pay close attention. So the best setting for hand washing is 100 degrees. Now right now, what you're going to notice is almost all the restaurants that I've been to, once upon a time, the water in the bathroom was only, only available was cold. Now I've gone to my favorite restaurants and I find that hot and cold water are working. Some restaurants have set the valve so that both hot and cold are only bringing the temperature out hot. So um, be weary of that, just so you know. So it's 100 degrees. If they don't give you a number, a lot of exams don't, what they might say is, they might say as hot as you can tolerate it. Right? Meaning as hot as you can stand it, right? As hot as you can stand it because you want to try to eliminate any germs or bacteria that are lying on your hands. Now, how many seconds? Okay, so an, a second has, a minute has 60 seconds. So you want to slice that in three. So what is one third of 60 seconds? It is going to be hand washing is for 20 seconds. Okay, that's the entire amount of time for hand washing. Now if you slice that in half, that's as much time as you need for scrubbing with soap. Because first you rinse, apply soap, then scrub, then rinse off with water. So 10 seconds is total hand washing time, right? Total hand washing time. Whoops, pardon my W, it came out a little funny. Total hand washing time and for scrubbing with soap, so you want to scrub with soap roughly 10 seconds to scrub, right? Scrubbing time. Okay, now some of us are under the illusion that we can use hand sanitizer in place of washing. No, we cannot use hand sanitizer. I can use hand sanitizer if I'm working in an office using uh, markers, paper, pen, etc. The reason you cannot use hand sanitizer in place of hand washing is because hand sanitizer will not remove dirt, grease, and protein. So your hand washing is king. You have to wash your hands. You can use hand sanitizer after your hand washing process, not in place of your hand washing process, okay? Think about your hand sanitizer as being in the car. Hand washing is your seat belt. Okay, that's what's really gonna save your life in a car. Hand sanitizer would be your airbags, your curtain airbags, your steering wheel airbags in the car. Many people are under the false assumption that an airbag will save their lives. Wrong. An airbag is there, and, it, and you'll see it on the car, it says SRS, meaning Supplemental Restraint System, 
not in place of your seatbelt. So again, think of your hand sanitizer as the airbags around your car. They are in addition to what saves your life, which is your seatbelt. Okay, guys and gals. Um, that's about it, guys. I hope that this helps. Again, Mr. Davis, thank you for asking for the hand washing to be added on the video segments. He did request another one, and I'm going to... I'm going to have that up, so I don't know which one you've seen first, this one or the other one, but either way, Mr. Davis recommended both of them. Kudos to you. Thanks for, thanks for letting me know what you wanted to watch. And, um, oh, one last thing. You know what? As I'm getting my, my, my paper here, when you're leaving the restroom, what you want to do is, before you close the valve, you want to use the same napkin that you use to dry your hands to close the valves with. Because if I close my, my valves, Alexa, stop alarm. That's my companion. Um, if I close the valves with my bare hands, I'm basically recontaminating my hands. Okay, so you want to hold on to that tissue, close the valves, and if you can, hold on to that tissue to exit the restroom. Here's a, here's a nasty little fact. Did you know that out of 15 people that use the bathroom, only one person is washing their hands? So guess what's on that, that door handle? You got it. Fecal matter and God knows what else. So hold on to that tissue when you go to exit that restroom, okay guys? Thank you and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.